going to continue our wow videos. There's a whole series uh, for this section. Part two, um, part two eight four C three M one B seven A four, line twenty two F one A nineteen C three M one B seven A four laser atlas terahertz pulses Lin B O three microfluidix and five G wow SETI. This is a research video as well. Okay, so here's the alien radio signal. And November 23rd, I was working on this video. Today's the 25th of November. So my keywords to Google from the last video are subpile second THC pulses and split ring resonator. And the last video is titled line 22 F1 FA 19 C3 M 1 B7 A3 vanadium dioxide terahertz radiation metal transition 5G well study. So here's a graph here that says spectral coverage of ultra fast sources and atlas. It has a driver with two cycle pulses and from TI sapphire lasers. Um, optical parametric chirped pulse amplification, OPCPA, optical rectification in semiconductors, nonlinear frequency conversion in insulators, SHG, THG, OPA, and SPM, and higher harmonic generation in noble gases. Okay? Sub piosecond THC sources, tunable femtosecond optical sources, and sub femosecond source second U XUV soft X ray sources. Mouthful, right? Quote from the blog Scientific concept. This special the special research program ADLIS or Advanced Light Sources focuses on ultra fast laser technology and non-linear optical techniques extending the spectral coverage of ultra-short pulsed light. Ultra-short pulsed light sources of Atlas offer nearly complete coverage of the spectral range spanning from less than 1 terahertz wavelength equals 0.3 mm to some 100 PHC 3 nm with the shortest pulses demonstrated to date in the THC optical and XUV region. The continued progress in spectral coverage resulted in spectacular advances in the characterization and control of radiation at both THC and optical frequencies. Novel techniques permit the complete, complete characterization of few cycle sub piosecond THC as well as few cycle sub 10 FS, optical pulses and thereby full control over the electric field. These novel tools along with the leading edge THC and attosecond metrology Bring us to the forefront in probing and controlling semiconductor, molecular, and atomic dynamics. Novel source development is continued in the following areas. Widely tunable 10 few femtosecond pulses offering the possibility to push the frontiers of femo, femtochemistry and femtobiology. Powerful THC pulses to drive and control ultra-fast processes. Field controlled few cycle optical pulses and out of second X, XUV X ray pulses. November 23rd, 2012. My thoughts THC out of second semiconductor pulses, beams, ultra fast process, X ray microwave technology is coming up in several of the new next few videos. We where we explore where sorry, typo fix it where we explore alien technology for a deep space communications device using the recent PDF files, science tests, and experiment results found in the latest technologies developed up to November 2012 that have been blogged about. I'm going to encourage all of you that have any more to add to this to add a comment to the video. I'm looking for keywords that might be in the wow data along with the formulas to see what we can find to make this new device. Thanks for participating. The idea goal says more research on the Atlas invention ideas. So major research areas in Atlas. And I can't read that print. It's really small. Um, sub pile second THC sources, femto second tunable optical sources, and phase control fuse cycle light in sub femo second XUV pulses, atto second spectro spectroscopy, probing and control of electron dynamics, theory is the dynamics of electronic and nuclear motion, carrier dynamics and relaxation in semiconductor nanostructures, electronic and nuclear motion in molecular processes. 
So this is the carrier dynamics in a semiconductor nanostructure. Source of diagram is info.tuwien.ac.at. Okay. Here's another uh, thingy here. Um, it shows the femtosecond laser, the delay, your detector, your cryostat sample, and emitter. And then I guess this is the signal it makes. Quote from blogs. Set up for terahertz time domain spectroscopy, a femtosecond laser generates terahertz pulses, which propagate through free space. A chopper and locking device allow one to record the amplitude of the electric field. Terahertz radiation is focused through a nitrogen cooled cryosat with the quartz windows where the PDMS sample is positioned. Okay. November 23rd, my thoughts. This terahertz technology is going to be used with the deep space communication device. Gut feeling here. Quote from the PDF results on blog. Density of states and vibrational modes of PDMS studied by terahertz time domain spectroscopy. And there's the name of the research people. From France. We're coming in from France now. It's dx.doi.org. So, using time domain spectroscopy, TDS, we performed high precision spectroscopic measurements of <laughs> polydimethylsiloxane, PDMS, in the terahertz domain. We investigated the influence of cross linking on the terahertz absorption and refractive index and modeled the data with vibrational density of states and coupling between photons and vibrational modes of the polymer molecules. We also investigated the influence of, temp of the temperature on PDMS and observed the glass transition temperature as well as the cold crystallization peak in the melting zone. And this is sciencedirect.com. So the next thing I'm going to Google is the split ring resonator and that's the diagram for Wiki. It says wires, split ring resonators, and circuit board. Okay. So quotes from Wiki, split ring resonator consisting of an inner square with a split on one side embedded into an outer square with a split on the other side. Split re resonators are on the front and right surfaces of the square grid and single vertical wires are on the back and left surfaces. A split ring resonator is an artificially produced structure common to meta materials. Their purpose is to produce the desired magnetic response in various types of meta materials up to 200 terahertz. November 23rd. So now I know that a split ring resonator is used with a circuit board. Google ID is split ring resonator TC pulses and this comes up. This device, this is actually an invention. Has your mirror laser grading lens Allen and THC. Okay. Okay, so nonlinear terahertz spectroscopy. November 23rd. This picture caught my eye. The mirror with the THC pulse beam. See this? Got a THC pulse coming out. Something to use in the space elevator and UFO spaceship formulas and the wild alien radio signals. Electric field strength, time. This is a graph here. High field THC generation, quote from blog. Nonlinear THC spectroscopy required requires broad bandwidth, tunable narrow band, and high electric field strengths. We generate single and multi-cycle THC pulses using optical rectification and LINBO3 crystals via non collinear phase matching with tilted pulse front excitation from TI Sapphire amplifier system. THC pulses are characterized by electro-optic EO sampling and EO crystals such as ZNTE. The single cycle THC pulses we generated typically have electric fields exceeding 100 kV CM and spectra ranging through 0.1 to 3 terahertz. We also developed the chirp <laughs> and delay method to generate multiple cycle THC pulses with flexible tunability and high field, ah, high field strength. The THC electric fields can be further enhanced by an order of magnitude using metamaterial structures called split ring resonators. Though these generation methods open up new possibilities of observation of nonlinear collective materials responses. 
So this is nelson.mit.edu. Okay, there's the blog link. November 23rd, my thoughts. As soon as I see crystals in power, I think of the core of the UFO spaceship. It has a formula along with crystals and laser beams that will be used to power the ship. I can see the THC pulses will be included in the next set of formulas. This is being broken down into several videos to make recording time easier to watch. It's very dry material and it can be rather boring for you and for me too. So I'm going to Google the keywords Ally and BO3 crystals. Quotes from Wiki. Lithium niobate is a compound of novium, lithium, and oxygen. Its single crystals are an important material for optical waveguides, mobile phones, piezoelectric sensors, optical modulators, and various other linear and nonlinear optical applications. November 23rd, my thoughts. Three keywords that have several formulas with them in the WOW alien radio signal data. Niobium, lithium, and oxygen plus crystals plus telecommunications into deep space and fuel energy for the UFO spaceship. There is the keyword linear coming up in these videos. We'll have to do a cross-reference for that word to see what kinds of formulas are with it. Single crystals of lithium niobate can be grown using the Sakrolaski process. A Z-cut single crystal lithium niobate wafer, after a crystal is grown, is, it is sliced into wafers of different orientation. Common orientations are Z-cut, X-cut, Y-cut, and cuts with rotated angles of the previous axis. November 23rd, looking at the following keywords, I'm going to Google microfluidics, fluidics, x-ray. The keyword to Google for your microfluidics, quote from PDF experiment found on blog, for your microfluidics. There's the uh, people that wrote it from Cleveland, Ohio, USA. Uh, we present a new experimental technique for the separation of dynamic chemical signals based on their frequency domain characteristics. Such a technique can be used to create filters that separate slow signals from fast signals from a common input flow stream. The propagation of time varying chemical waves through networks of microfluidic channels is first examined. Mathematical models and a set of simple experiments are developed that demonstrate the short microfluidic channels behave as linear delay lines. The observed dispersive broadening and delay behavior can be explained in the Fourier space in terms of corresponding phase delay, amplitude, decay, and characteristic transfer functions. Such delay components can be utilized to implement frequency-dependent interference filters. An eighth order PDMS bandpass filter chip demonstrating these ideas was constructed. The filter chip was a central frequency of 0.17 Hz and a bandwidth of 0.04 Hz at a flow rate of 4 micro LH minus 1. And that's at www.ncbi.nlm.nih.gov. Okay. So the keywords from the data are microfluidic channels, linear delay lines, Fournier space, phase delay, decay, transfer functions, frequency filters, PDMS bandpass filter chip, central frequency 0.17 Hz, bandwidth 0.14 Hz. 23rd of November, I still don't know the exact frequency you use for your current deep space telecommunications. What does NASA use to talk to the ISS? I'll have to Google it to find out, and if I can't find out, please leave me a comment if you know um, where I can find that information, or uh, give me an idea where you can find it and what what it is. Okay, thank you for helping, and thanks for watching.